Hello pleasure spenders and all you wonderful people watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the shopping therapy couch. I am Christine and usually I do um, these haul videos with my cat, but uh, I was too slow setting up the camera so he jumped off. So maybe we'll see an appearance of my cat Monty uh, later. Anyway, uh, getting on with the haul, uh, I apologize for um, uh, I haven't done a haul in a couple weeks. It's just that I really didn't need anything at the store, so I didn't bother going. So anyway, if you're interested in a Dollar Tree haul, sit back, relax, do some shopping therapy with me, and let's get started. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the original idea of going to the uh, the Dollar Tree was just to get some plain old-fashioned coffee filters. So I did. Uh, we were running out, and both me and my husband are coffee fanatics. So, um, yeah, Dollar Tree does a good job at uh, supplying the, the coffee filters. So we got some of that, and also Hubby wanted some sweet snacks. He already blasted through his... Um, Easter basket so uh, he asked me for a special um, run on the Mike and Ike's which he always gets well not always but uh, you know and then but his uh, thing this week was he wanted some sugar babies so I picked up some for him this week um, I was really excited to to see they had some new uh, bath and body stuff usually our stores they don't um, get their stocks for like quite a while from like the main channels but this I actually did see. So, if you've seen my channel before, I am a big uh, bath and body person, especially like uh, things like bath salts and everything. So, Spa Naturals uh, came out with three um, three new scents. So, and then these come in, as you can see that, uh, just a little bit over a pound. So that's 17.5 ounces. And it's uh, pretty heavy duty. Uh, packaging these are let me turn this around here so as you can see uh, it's uh, sodium chloride and some fragrance so basically it's like a table salt so uh, I did go and pick up some regular Epsom salts with which is uh, basically uh, magnesium salt so this has some uh, healing qualities so in addition to the this kind of salt, I am going to throw in that kind of salt. So anyway, um, getting on with it. So they had some in rose petals. And then they had some in chamomile. And then they had some with a lavender. And so as you can see, it has like some of the uh, petals and everything. So it'll be interesting to try out. So I'm going to enjoy these. So they had um, some new soaps, which I couldn't help myself. So it, here is some hand wash. So one is in uh, rose and coconut. The other one is in jasmine orange blossom here. And the packaging is really nice. So, and then you get 10 fluid ounces in these stand up containers here. So really pretty. So even if you didn't use it on your for yourself, you can gift these. I, I think that would be really pretty in a gift basket. And then I got one, a jasmine orange uh, blossom bar soap. So that's what that looks like. These smell amazing and very light. So I do like that. And then of course, because I like the fragrance so much, I went ahead and I got some of the hand creams. Now, um, of course, it's not as big as the body lotions, which I'm kind of bummed at. And uh, for the other ones, the, um, they kind of just uh, absorbed in your skin really easily. So uh, I did get the same thing, the Jasmine and Orange Blossom. You can see that there. I'm sorry about the glare. And then, of course, this uh, Rose and Coconut. So look at that packaging is that neat all right so i promise that is it for the bath and body stuff um some cosmetic stuff they had this swispers <laughs> i guess that's what they're calling that brand so they have a silicone blender and i'm not sure if i can take this out hang on let me stop 
Okay, so I finally got it out. So here's the package. Here's the actual silicone um, sponge, I guess. So that's what it looks like. It looks like it's uh, silicone with a uh, plastic uh, outer coat, I guess. You know what this feels like? You know how like a few years ago, how like uh, like the fake padding um, for your bras, like uh, that kind of silicone, like uh, those self-attached bras or whatever, the fake boobs or whatever so that's exactly what this feels like I mean it's it's really soft really pliable um, kind of has that same outer coating on it so uh, that'll be really interesting to use uh, with some foundation and uh, you know kind of going all over your face with it but uh, so anyway yeah so uh, yeah I'll use it I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try the little one is growing so fast and they had these cute socks so uh the first one is well this one's a two-pack but it's a cute little panda bear with uh roller skates and the second pair is just a bunch of hearts i got her a second pair also and she really likes uh puppy dogs so isn't that really sweet so there you go so it's some puppy dogs and just some socks with stripes for the second oh and I guess this is a three pack, so then you get um, some pink ones as well. Oh God, they had so much summer stuff and I I, I held back, so I think that I'll be doing a, maybe like a summer haul the next time. But anyway, they have their solar animals out and of course I am a fan of the fox. So there is the fox with the solar eyes and then that's you can see that solar panel there and then they had the best napkins like they were so pretty and so elegant so i picked up a couple so the first one is this uh napkin with the pineapple it has the gold foil all over it and then they had a flamingo as well isn't that pretty and very elegant let's see oh you only get six napkins but that's that's okay you know if you have a special event or whatnot and then they had some uh coordinating plates which uh i didn't get but anyway uh that is it for my haul i'll be doing a, an update on my uh kitchen scrap garden so uh, I'll see you on the flip side if you decide but this is it for the haul so for all you guys just that stayed for uh, the haul part thank you so much and uh, just have a great day but for those who want to stick around we'll see you on the flip side so I'm just gonna quickly go over my quick kitchen scrap garden so some things are making it some things aren't so it will capture the opportunity that the Sun's coming out so here is some of my uh, lettuce, um, one of the carrots didn't make it, broccoli I think I overshot and I should have harvested the little florets last week, um, this lettuce here it actually grew a stalk almost as if it wants to um, bolt and uh, produce seeds so I'm going to have to harvest this soon before that does that. Sometimes when it gets to that stage the um, the leaves turn more bitter but I haven't tried this plant so other than the original cutting so uh, we're going to see and then here is some of the leaf lettuce, uh, broccoli that still doesn't have any leaves or growth on it, cut flowers which was probably about uh, three weeks ago so they're they're kind of doing they're doing rough so we'll see if we can get any um, roots out of them here is some spinach plants they're actually getting really healthy and strong this um, celery plant is doing amazing uh, it's more spinach more uh, celery and broccoli the carrot that is doing awesome more leaf lettuce that guy's doing good even after my daughter pulled him out um, more broccoli and I should probably harvest this little floret pretty soon my carrot that didn't make it and some of the cuttings from my cut flowers as you can see there is hardly any um, roots or anything like that but then if you look here we got some new growth on uh, one of the rose stalks so we might actually get like um, a rose bush out of that 
being outside reminded me of the time when people were trying to grow trees in those biodomes and they would fall over. Well, it turns out that uh, they needed the wind and adversity to develop strong root systems. And so it, it kind of reminded me of the crisis that we have today. Um, so viruses, they usually get a bad rap, but honestly, we need them like they need us. So a lot of them can um, slow disease, uh, destroy excess bacteria, and they can even help us form our placentas. Um, but as far as the bad ones, of course they can harm us, but our bodies are very formidable and we can defeat them. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time. Uh, so I have a science background, but I'm going to leave this up to the experts and I've linked some uh, articles that I thought were interesting down below if, if you're interested. Um, there's also a great uh, poem by Douglas Mellock and it's called Good Timber. So I'm also going to link that down below. But like these trees, like the one that you see now that was um, struck by lightning in my childhood, um, it endures. So uh, after the storms and the troubles are over, we're going to be like the trees and we're going to be able to uh, provide breath and abundance to everyone. So that's it for my video. I hope you check out the videos and, uh, and uh, you guys just have a great day and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.